Hello everybody, it's Joseph here and welcome back to part 5 of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And we're going to press any button to continue. And we continue, we will. Um, I don't know exactly where we left off. I recorded an episode yesterday and now I'm recording an episode today. Uh, so I have no clue what we did in the last episode. I do not remember at all. Uh, I will immediately remember once we get back into the game, but we'll see. I might not. There's a, there's a chance that I might not. Uh, memory's getting really bad lately. Uh, it's from all that weed that I'm smoking. Alright. Gotta get that grass, you know. Um, probably shouldn't have been talking about that in the first minute of the video, but that's okay. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, this is the point... Oh, I remember now. This is the point in the, uh, original Final Fantasy VII where you're like, you, you get to choose whether you want to run away from all of them or you want to fight them and stuff. Yeah, this is that part. Uh, end of the line, punker doodle. Uh, I apologize if we've already fought these guys. Uh, if we fought these guys in the last episode, and this is my save was just right before we fought them, I apologize. We're fighting them again, and I don't care because it's fun. Uh, let me move my mic a little bit. All right, we're good. Uh, oh God, shield men, shield men! I forgot how annoying the shield men were. Uh, I want operator mode. Operator mode is better than uh, defender or punisher mode or whatever. Get the frick out of my house! Spells, fire, a uh, riot trooper. There we go. Fire! Get back here, grenader boy. Bro, Cloud is just an acrobatic man. He could give like Nightwing a run for his freaking money. Uh, spells. I'm out of NP. Oh God. Bang! Death for you! Dude, stop it, man. Stop throwing grenades at me. It's really not fun. Potion. Give me the potion. Shit! The Huntsman! I think I remember you. Abilities. Uh. Uh. Braver, I guess. The Huntsman. Get out of my face! Uh, I have no abilities or spells that I can use. Frickin' Christ! Operator mode. I gotta, I gotta get behind his ass. Uh, shit! You stupid fricker! Uh, uh, items. Potion. All right, Cloudy boy. Break these things! Give me MP. My MP increased. Uh. Fire. Eat fire, you piece of garbage! He's off his balance! Uh, spells? Fire! Hi ya! Uh, ab abilities. Braver! Huntsman, okay. And then, hi -ya! Um, I don't have any more ATB, but I do now. Braver Huntsman, uh, get nanade, you frickin' frick. God, I'm stuck. I really do be stuck. God damn, oh my god, oh, oh god. Oh god, back up, dude. Back the frick up. Uh, my ATB recharges on its own, I guess, because I can see it recharging. I'm about to use a high potion. Um, please get the fuck away from me. Um, commands menu. Uh, items. High potion. Cloud. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. I have health now. Not bad if I do say so myself. Get, um, Nene, please. Oh, shit! Was this guy this hard yesterday? Oh, my God! Let's focus thrust this man. Shit! Son of a... Son of a biscuit. Oh, God, I have no ATB. Do I want to heal, or do I want to use fire? This guy really do be pissing me off. 
This guy do be a pain in my ass. Get the fuck away! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Get away! Fire! Pressured, he's pressured, get him! Freaking get him! Ah, run! Run! Items, potion, cloud. You know what, dude? I'm about to use a nade on this guy. Because apparently I have a nade in my inventory. I have five nades. Damn! Damn! Alright, we got uh, the Huntsman. He's been defeated. More dudes. He knows me. Do I get to fight him or is this a cutscene? Yep, it's a cutscene. I'm escaping to the train! Bye bye. See y'all later. They're like, dang it, we could have killed him. And now Cloud is nowhere to be found. He'll be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action. I'm gonna turn this up. I can't really hear it. Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. You think he's a keeper? Oh, yeah, it's Cloud. What the hell you been up to, huh? See, he's a nice he guy at heart. To run around. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? Nope, you cannot. Can also not argue with the fact that Barrett's actually a really nice dude. Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? 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 Ropes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. All right. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Look, yes. We've got a crowd. Sorry, I'm, um, I'm actually trying to, like, follow, follow along with the audio, with the, not the audio, the, the cutscenes and stuff. I actually want to play and beat this game. Uh, and I, I don't play this game other than what I'm recording, so it, we, everything from probably this point on is probably going to be blind for the most part. Um, other than what, other than from what I know of the first, the original Final Fantasy VII, other than that, everything else is going to be blind. Um, because this is like the last, like this train segment is the last thing I've seen of the game. Like from a, like when I watched, when the game first came out, I watched a couple people play the first segment. Um, I think I don't remember it that well because it was early in the year, but I have I technically seen this part, but this is about it. They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing? I don't know. That wasn't me. I didn't kill the president. I didn't try to. Everyone knows Avalanche. Apparently, I've had a timer going on for 20 hours. Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, 
That explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. He's really making it obvious that it was him. It loud and clear, y'all's masters. <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Them spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Damn. That was tense. Alright, I'm going forward into the train. Wait, where where shouldn't Jesse and Stally oh, there she is. There's my girl. My girl. Interact. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <laughs> oh, she put her finger on his mouth. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates. He's like, okay, I guess I'm staying on with you guys. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there. Pizza is a thing in this world? I didn't know that pizza was a thing in Final Fantasy Land. Oil turns to dust. The air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. That's what's always worked for me. Well, that's all well and good if you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. He took off his glasses. He means business. Bro, Cloud's actually kind of skinny. He's actually got like really thin arms. <clears throat> How does he lift that sword? It's like a Monster Hunter sword. God, I want Capcom to team up with Square Enix and add Cloud's sword to fucking Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, that would be awesome, man. I'm tired. God damn it. All right. It's because usually in the mornings I'm a lot more rowdy, but as the day goes on I get a lot more calm, so I feel like it's about the point where I stop being super freaking rowdy and I start being a lot more eh. Because it's currently only... what time is it? I'm gonna unlock my phone. It's only 10.07 in the morning. It's pretty early. I started recording at like 8 something. They made it home. Members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah. Guys. Lower your this is very anime like. This reminds me a lot about an a lot of like anime. Just the way they're so enthusiastic and stuff. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? See you soon. 
Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Oh, no, I won't. I, I definitely, I definitely won't. That is almost home. Wait, so are Tifa and Barrett a thing? I'm not sure who's a thing here. Like, I, at first, when I first started playing Final Fantasy VII a long ass time ago, I thought Tifa and Barrett were together. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet. Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. That guy's a dumbass. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Oh god, it's the invisible bros. You again. I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna go well, kick I'll their asses. Come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. Uh ah uh, uh I'll screw you up. It's only 10.09 in the morning. Holy crap. I gotta work at 4. And I gotta go grocery shopping before that because I'm out of food. Alright, let's go get Tifa. Tifa, my lady girl. Lady. Oh, hey, Tifa. Hey, what's up, cutie? Oh, so they are together. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah. She, he didn't even say hi to Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Hmm. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta play with children. Sorry, I went dark there for a second. I was listening to the story. Uh. Hey! Uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. God damn it! That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> God, there's a fucking fly in my face. What else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then. What can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> Bro, she's stacked. Not gonna lie. Um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Hey, Tafa, what are you doing? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? 
Sure. <laughs> Follow me then. Hey, uh, is there a specific reason we're going to this apartment? Like, uh, are we gonna bang or what? Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Yeah, promises aren't enough, lady. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shin. Not good at all. Oh, so now he doesn't. Now he wants to do more jobs. So, you make nice with everyone. Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. Uh, I'm a you person. God, I'm such an idiot. I need to stop right now. Okay. Um. So I think that uh, it, this is a good a time as any to stop and end the episode. Uh, if you guys liked this video, leave a like. Uh, if you disliked it, leave a dislike. Uh, comment down below because I really like uh, responding to those. All your guys' comments are really fun to read. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out a lot. And check out my second channel, which uh, there's a link to that in the description below. You guys should subscribe to that too, especially if you want to see all uh, emulation stuff and no commentary like gameplay and benchmark test videos. Uh, I'll be posting all that stuff over there. Even though I used to post it on this channel, I will not be doing that anymore uh, because I wanted to focus this channel specifically on my Let's Plays uh, until it, I get monetized and I can easily do more of it and I have more of a viewership. Um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace!